Hello and welcome to coverage of the 28th annual helicopter line Queenstown Classic here in New Zealand. We are on the South Island near Lake Wakatipu, set against the beautiful dramatic mountains and lush greenery. This is MPO coverage of our lead card, starting here in round three, the first two rounds unfortunately unable to be captured. I'm Connor Wood, and with me, Andrew Gum. Yeah, very happy to be here again. Uh, Michael Yu here, getting a look at, and uh, sponsored by Innova. And reigning defending champ, it looks like. We have Morgan Hartveld here, coming in second last year, rated at 916. Solid player, had a love for the game, recently took a break and then came back. And I think he's, he's all in once again. Yeah, we got Sebastian Falconer, very young guy, just 17 years old. And uh, he's been playing for three and a half years, currently rated 959. And rounding out this card, at the moment. head of production at MDG Media, Maxime Tanj. You may have seen him on our last tournament coverage. Excited to see how he chooses to attack this course here today. Flipping that Ruru. He's been bombing it too. So there we see our total scores after two full rounds. Michael with that four-stroke lead over Morgan. Sebastian one back of him and Maxime trailing by four. And here we currently. are, hole one, par three, 55 meters. You see a left to right sloping fairway with a nice little green up here. Not much to think about other than try and hit the distance cleanly, slide up or dig down into this grass. You see this gravel does get a little bit more ground play than the grass, but at this distance, most of these guys are gonna pick a disc that they're comfortable with, get it as close as possible. Good birdie hole to start. Yep, maybe even give it an ace run if you're feeling it. Definitely a certified dinker hole, though, to get I kind of like those. You know, you start with a birdie, get the, get the feeling going. Morgan, a little bit early out of the hand, though. Connects with the earth. Doesn't quite get as close as I think he'd want to be. I like the forehand play here from Sebastian, but you can see he was a bit afraid to fade right at the end down the hill. That is the danger. So he goes for an Anheuser angle. Maxime Ruru, straight at it. Perfect. That beautiful platinum plastic coming from RPM. Really nice feel and stability to those plastics and molds coming in that variety. We have Morgan up first from Circle 2. Oh, and he digs it. Oh, wow. Great highlight putt to get started. Very solid start for that man there. And this is definitely one you want to get. Sebastian with a good downhill putt. Oh. Nicely done. Michael, yeah, cashing that short putt. And Maxime, go. closest of the bunch, to round out a friendly star frame. All birdies here on hole one. Great way to get. Yeah, I was kind of surprised to see that. It wasn't the best drives, but. Very some confident really good putting pups. stroke from all of those men here as we move into hole two. Definitely a slightly trickier line. There is a mando tree on the left, forcing them to play down this tunnel that the drone is flying. For right-handed, backhanded players, they will want to throw a straight shot with a very soft fade. But given this left to right sloping fairway, any tree kick, roll, slide, could spell danger, and par from down there is not always easy. We see Michael up first. Yeah, he's got a in of a pig. A nice control from the there. First hole. I think we'll be seeing that a lot on this course, given that it is not the longest course. A lot of these players are going to be leaning and relying on discs, often putters that they're comfortable throwing on a lot of these holes. Definitely. This this court's kind of the opposite of what we saw last time, <laughs> yeah. with all those like really long fours and fives, and this one's kind of a much more touchy putter style course. See Sebastian, 
And all these guys getting a Couple little bit of a counter skip because of that left to right slope that Heiser Edge catching the hill can't really fight upwards, just sort of kicking straight. Yeah, and I get the feeling we're dealing with a lot more elevation on this course. Absolutely. We will be going anyway. up, down, left and right, all of the above. As all four of the players hit the gap pretty cleanly, and they will have a variety of putts from about 7 to roughly 12 meters, it looks like. We do see Michael going into yeah. this round with a one-stroke lead over Morgan, who has a one-stroke lead over... So, rather, four-stroke lead over Morgan, who has a one-stroke lead over Sebastian. And as that putt misses, very nice to see it sit down there. That could be dangerous. Yeah. Sebastian actually threw a mid-range off the tee on this one. Color glow MD3. Fails to connect for birdie. Maxime just a bit high. Looked good. Did look like a tailwind Definitely as well it. on the back of his t-shirt. We saw that ripping may have been contributing factor to his aiming point and morgan with another fantastic putt yeah super great putting here on moving day he's been playing since 2014 but doesn't do it as much as he used to he was pretty deep in it for a while a nice putt there from michael as sebastian and max clean up their threes That'll be the nice hot start for Michael and Morgan. I believe both the home course, home course for both of those men. And uh, it's really showing there the experience right. in the landing zone, knowing every square inch of this place going a long way. We see here, hole three, par three, only 45 meters. But take a look at this basket, folks. It is elevated with branches in the way. If you are not underneath the pin, putting can be very tricky and very punishing if you are to miss. You're going to want a nice straight shot. Try to find your two. Really nice exactly touch Exactly what on you that. want from Michael there. And he'll be going three for three. Oh. Yeah, that's... A, yep. That's a zero. If that's how that's pronounced. That new Nexus plastic in of a disc. Morgan playing a little bit more with the stability there, swinging that hyzer in. Seems to have controlled the distance nicely. <laughs> little jump putt off the tee from Sebastian. Sebastian. Yeah, just jump putting with his soft exo link. This either a link or a ruru from. I think that was his Maxine. soft link. Did get a great look at. Yep. Yeah. So we see Max putting first. Does contend with that low ceiling a little bit, but caches it strong side for a good birdie. Ooh. Nicely done there. And all these guys with very confident putting strokes. Obviously, we are in round three. They're familiar with the course, familiar with their game plan. Now it's just a matter of execution. As Michael and Morgan go three for three. Mm. Yeah. Hole four. Par three, 55 meters. Between two of these trees that we are going to enter is a double mando playing sort of left to right diagonally. The backhand turnover being very touchy. I expect a lot of these players to try and throw the forehand hyzer line, but you have to sit down quick as this green slopes very rapidly down the hill. You want to land nice and soft. You can see right there those two mando trees that they need to split the gap between. A little flex from Michael here. Looking a piggy up there inside the circle, I believe. I think the more Last traditional tactic. line to control the height, but he catches a root and doesn't make it all the way. He'll be left with a downhill putt about eight meters. Oh, Max brings it in 
pretty hot but very nicely Ooh. placed he hit just below the basket bit of ground play on that slope to be expected but almost got some metal very close there and sebastian with another great putt these guys are really feeling it oh yeah some super hot putters we've earned our first slow-mo here Look at that, very confident stroke, right in the heart. Very, very clean putt. Solid catch off the pole. Morgan sneaks his in as well. Oh. <laughs> Nubs and in, just a little bit of chains, and that's four for four from him, so definitely came to play. Michael looking to match that pace here. Oh. Think. A little bit left and low. And yeah, not quite enough rotations okay, but... on his disc. You saw it sort of floundered out of there. It was in, in the basket. A good height. Came up, came down, but also bounced out. As Michael misses his first birdie and the other three find it, he will lose a stroke yeah, just... to those chasing him. Yeah, yeah and it's tricky on, on holes one. like this where it feels like it might be a must-get that can come into play. But this one is no must get. Very tricky hole. Hole five, par three, 85 meters. You have a downhill fairway entering this tree line where a nice straight to hyzer finish will be great for these right-handed backhand shots. You can expect some over stability as they try to use that to control the distance and battle through, hopefully with a bit of ground play as they enter the tree line. <laughs> Morgan firing long as we get a wave from the yeah, card in front. Just going to have a little comebacker there. Good line, though. Sebastian with the MD3 here. C line gets hung up. He'll have a deep circle, too. Look. Max with that mutant again, same as last hole. Very trusty overstable mid-range, but I'll catch as an overhanging branch. I think you really want to get to the floor quickly, given that it is downhill, and that you want to go left. A skip would play very favorably if you were to hit the ground early. We see Michael here with a very smooth air shot, skipping before the basket, slides it on up. That is picture perfect. Yeah, that's his Toro. Another confident putt from Sebastian there. Oh, yeah. very healthy bid. Max looks to be early circle too. Oh, wow, good run. Very unlucky reaction off the nubs, a little bit of chain and it rolls Back to circle's edge. And we or see Morgan to maintain a perfect moves. round. He fired long. He has some trees in the way. And that will be tricky, leaving him still with about eight meters left for his par save. And Max to save his par. Very good putt. Oh, is he going to split the gap? I think he will. Hey -oh. Nice. And Morgan, another putt sneaking just over the rim, off the top of the basket into the chains. I think he'll be looking to make a small correction on the height, but he's putting them in, and that's what counts. There's Michael with a stress-free tap-in for his birdie. Things bright. 
shout out to Helicopter Line, the namesake of this tournament. As we move on. Ah, oh, it looks so nice. The scenery. Man, that looked fun. Fantastic stuff. Hole six, par three, Beautiful. only 50 meters, but slightly uphill. You will notice that these players need to hit the early gap in the trees, try to get their way all the way up here and then have a controlled descent and not go long. If you do fire really quick past this basket, some of these trees at the back will catch you. But I think these guys will display some good distance control here. We see a forehand hyzer from Michael to get us started and parked. Oink, yep. oink. Piggy park job. <laughs> He's good with those. Was that a driver <laughs> from Morgan? Looks like a fairly sharp disc, and the ground play would indicate so. I think so. It yeah. is quite steeply uphill. I think the forehand easier to control the height for a lot of these guys. We see Sebastian match the grade of the hill perfectly. Slide his way up into circle one. Yeah, smooth tactic shot there. Maxime going backhand. Roo roo. Art job as well. As we see one slightly longer putt from Morgan and three pretty short putts. This could be the beginning of a set of birdies here as Morgan finds that nicely. Only missed that one birdie so far, so he is five down through six. Very hot start. Michael looking to do the same, but this is Sebastian here. Oh. Heavy chains. Oh. Unfortunate there. Yeah, it was a bit wide right, but... Could have stuck, maybe. Maybe a little too hot. As Max and Michael tap them in. See Michael leading at 28 under. Second place, Morgan now. Four behind him. Not giving up any part of that lead. As we go into hole seven... Par 3, 70 meters. This hole has a soft left to right shape playing a right hand forehand or the backhand turnover. I think the the backhand not really having the width. Uh, you also have a mando tree on the right side as you enter this tree line forcing players to play to the left which you'll see just off the tee. So interesting hole and really going to test their use of stability and their knowledge and control over their discs. That pretty mountainscape. Clouds hanging on the wood line. Eagle here from Michael. You can see now. Uh, maybe. A little high and it gets chopped down. Yeah, this mm. one definitely one of the trickier holes in this front nine. You can see now. It was not marked in the drone shot, but you do see here that tree on the right. That is the Mando pushing them left. The, the backhand really not coming into play if you want to get super close. Forehand is the line. As he connects, he, he looks to be about edge of circle. That will definitely play. Max is going for the touchy backhand line. Maxine, yeah. Uh oh. Uh, that was a bit we'll of a see misrelease. If he fell past or prior to that Mando tree. He will be contending with that drop zone if he missed it. And Sebastian also playing the forehand. Yeah, with that essence, I believe. Not your typical flick disc. No doubt, and that thing came in with heat. If that didn't hit the pole or the tree, that was going. And yeah, here is the drop zone. Maxime to save par. But from that range, with all those trees, I think he just wants to put it close and take the four. Very difficult position here for Michael. He has to go left-hand flick roller just to try to clear the Mando, and he does, but pretty far out of position still. Par looking very unlikely. There you get a good look at his putter, that zero in Nexus Plastic. But he's going to have still a little bit of work to do for the bogey. Kind of uh, giving some of the guys a chance here, and Morgan taking that chance. Eventually, two or more strokes. Great point. That is a best-case scenario for Michael, a two-stroke swing for that lead position. Another confident putt from Sebastian. I like the pace on his putts. Exactly. 
no no timidity at all yeah. timidness yeah just timidness mm. timidity i'll i'll, Timidity, I'll yeah. let you pick which one you like that's how you do <laughs> timidity, uh, <laughs> i'm not sure yeah, it sounds like timidity, it could be correct I, I like the sound of it i just we'll leave it up to the <laughs> listeners at home <laughs> yeah <laughs> hole eight par three 73 meters this beautiful wooded hole will test once again the finesse on the angles of these players as we have another soft left to right the right-handed backhand turnover playing a lot nicer than on the last hole with a very similar shape it just provides a tad more width for these players to try and turn something over i think the forehand very touchy as you might fade out early to the right i think we'll see a bit of touch from all of these men here as they try to turn over through this gap. Yeah, lovely looking woods here. Some big tall trees and nice line. Very spinny release. He's getting the full turn. Pretty tight. But as he faded just a bit early, doesn't get the full flight. But he is right up there for birdie. I think a good result. I like the... The body language too. He was Sometimes really, really you gotta will on. your discs into the basket, the you know. Just pure willpower. Send them your energy. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, early connection on the tree there. Sebastian with his um essence again. So he really likes a forehand with that. That's a pig. No no Toro, excuse me. The Calvin Heimberg approach. And a good-looking shot over. there from Michael. Good showcasing of that forehand line. Does fade a little bit early, as we mentioned, but got all the way up there. As Max connects again with an early tree in the fairway. Yeah. Yeah, two in a row early. Early on the turn with the Ruru, maybe a slight bit off this with the release points here. Very tricky. I think the big hyzer putt, as he clinks it, Ooh. Yeah, it's the base. Right on line. Just needed a little more pop. Yeah. Tried to get big hyzer putt there, but wasn't quite on, on point and hopefully not too much work left in the comeback. Morgan looking real dialed. Look at the focus. I like this. Oh. So that would have been his seventh oh. birdie through eight holes. He has had a great uh -oh. start. We'll see Michael try to bounce back after the bogey on seven. And he does. Finds a solid birdie putt. Really good looking putt there. He meant that one for sure. Morgan to save his par. Nicely done. Slightly elevated basket. We didn't yeah, mention, clean. but this mound does give you a slightly nose-up putt from where you often land. Oh, that was a bit too high and a bit too hard. One thing I could say about Sebastian, he needs to maybe take a little pace off those shorties because... It's not really necessary to smash it in there like I'd that. I'd agree. He, that that, that pace and confidence is great on the edge of Harsh circle, there, early though. circle too. But when you're just a couple meters away, that is the danger that you risk. Hole nine, par three, 70 meters. A split fairway. You can go left or right of these trees you see on the right of your frame. Backhand or forehand is in play. But with this drop off directly behind the green, the distance, distance control will be paramount for these players to ensure a stress-free putt. Michael going back to the piggy. Guessing there are pro plastic. Good commentary from the card there. I think bit Michael wide, called it lucky himself. Does get a little bit. slid just a bit long, he'll be left with an uphill putt. Yeah. A really touchy backhand line here. Ooh. No, maybe kind of, he says. And absolutely, that is up there. Didn't touch a thing. <laughs> Worked out. Nice one. 
another Ruru. Oh, yeah, good to settle. That looks like it was coming in pretty fast. In high circles edge, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think he got a good result to get it to stick there on the green, but not an easy putt. Bastion with that color glow, MD3. Yeah. Oh, rough kick off to the left and going to have to scramble for par. I believe. Oh, stun stunning Beautiful land. property, though. Looks like a nice lake there. Lake Wakatipu, just in mm -hmm. the fourth background. Gorgeous. Just lush greenery. Oh, Michael from downtown has all the height and a bit more. Goes off the top. Ooh, right on the mark. Seven down through nine with no bogeys. Great front nine put together from Morgan. Yeah, and really just inches from being perfect. I mean, a couple of those putts, you know. Could have and been he's just down. two behind Michael now, who will be tapping in for par. <laughs> he's really closed the gap a little. As Max takes his two. Yeah, it's a tight There's battle. Two strokes between them now. As we take a look at the standings, Michael leading five down through the front nine at 28 under. Morgan two strokes behind him at 26, and then a five-stroke gap to third place, where we see Sebastian at 21. Two players tied for 18, and so on. Very tight race as we see our leaders begin to separate a bit. The battle between Michael and Morgan will continue on the back nine. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you there. Yeah. And don't forget about uh, the Patreon account for MDG Media. Help support them that way. And big thanks to these touring and tournament partners.